and happy days. And then it went into families, families, families on TV. And we, we're not even gonna mention Bill Cosby anymore. I'm not going there, so don't even ask me, right? I'm not going there. But really, we loved him, right? The Cosby kids. So what happens is you guys were raised on TV and you were raised with busy parents and you were called the latchkey kids and when you came on the scene you wanted work-life balance and we called you the slacker and then you decided that you liked your music and your movies better than your parents and so you started making tapes, is this, am I on the right track here? And you started making mixed tapes and then you gave them to your friends and basically what happened was you're brilliant. You're brilliant, because Sony was watching every move you made. They were watching how many times you watched Ferris Bueller in The Breakfast Club, and they were watching all of this, and they said, we have a generation that's addicted to their media, and they want to give their music away. They want to share their music. All fads start with a generation of young people, and this became a massive trend on how we do everything. Gen X, you're brilliant, okay? I'm going to give it to you, okay? So they started making mixtapes. By taking the music, does any do Gen Y, do you know what those are? Okay, Gen Y, they pushed the tape recorder up against the radio, and they, went, they were listening to radio back then, not NPR either. They pushed the tape recorder up against the radio, they waited for the disc jockey to stop talking, they pressed play and record, you got it now at the same time, and they stole illegally, they ripped the music from the radio onto a tape. Yes. They are tapes, they look like this. And then they would give them to their friends and they would call it... Oh my God, a mixtape. Nicole, Nicole's mix, Karen's mix, Tom's mix. And they would give this mix to their friends. Brilliant, that's how we listen to music today. So we begin to understand that this is a very independent generation who had to work. When they graduated from school, Maybe they went on a two-week vacay. Some did six weeks backpack. That was it. Then they went to work. And then they had children, and they got married, and they did all the things that baby boomers kind of did. But we have a generation right now that doesn't do that. We have a generation that is they, now they're calling it like adult adolescence. Like they take, they're taking 10 years in what Gen X took two weeks to do. So we're starting to look at, yeah. So instead of a road map of how to live, they're doing a road trip. <laughs> yeah, it is. So anyway, so it's an interesting thing that's starting to happen. And the biggest shift is between these two generations. Baby boomers, you thought you had a rub, but this generation is having a harder time because they're seeing things given to millennials that they didn't get. So you got to get over it, Gen X, because it's happening. Because after millennial, it's Gen Z. They're going to be even more challenging, and they're going to want more. And Gen Y will be complaining about them. So, changes ahead. Oh.